Mr. Monkey, Monkey Mechanic, was oiling the wheels on his skateboard, when all of a sudden, the garage bell rang. That means a visitor has arrived. But who could it be? It's Mr. Husky. Hello, Mr. Husky. Yo, Mr. Monkey. I was just getting a little exercise. Mr. Monkey sees that Mr. Husky has brought his sled. What seems to be the trouble? There's nothing I love more in the winter than pulling my friends on my sled. That sounds like a lot of fun, says Mr. Monkey. So what's the problem? Well, I'm not sure if you've noticed or not, Mr. Monkey, but it's summertime, so there's no snow. I can't pull my sled without snow. I see, says Mr. Monkey. <laughs> I really miss pulling my sled. It's great exercise, and my friends love it too. Can you help me? Unfortunately, Mr. Monkey can't change the weather, but there might be something else he can do to help. Awesome. While you're doing that, I'll be outside doing my exercises. Mr. Monkey knows that sleds slide on the snow. But snow only falls in the winter, so he'll have to find another way to help the sled move. Now, what types of vehicles work well when there isn't any snow? Cars work well in every season. And you can ride bicycles in the spring, summer, and fall. Oh, and skateboards, too. What do all those vehicles have in common? That's it. They all have wheels. That gives Mr. Monkey an idea. He'll need four wheels. Mr. Monkey better check his inventory. Oh no, he's all out of wheels. He used the last four wheels on his skateboard. Now he can't help Mr. Husky. Wait, that's it. He can take the wheels off his skateboard and attach them to Mr. Husky's sled. Mr. Monkey loves his skateboard, but he loves helping his friends even more. One, two, three, four. There, four wheels. And Mr. Monkey will need one more thing. His trusty monkey wrench! But there isn't any snow. How did you do it? My mind is literally blown. Simple, Mr. Husky. I just added some wheels to the bottom. Now you can pull your sled all year round, anytime you'd like. This is amazing, Mr. Monkey. Now hop on and let's go for a ride. Hold on tight, Mr. Monkey! <laughs> Mr. Monkey, Monkey Mechanic, was working on his puzzle. When all of a sudden, the garage bell rang. Mr. Monkey has a visitor. He loves having visitors. Who could it be? 
It's Ms. Poodle. Hello, Ms. Poodle. Oh, Mr. Monkey. I've got a problem, and I'm hoping you can help me. Every time I go to get my hair done, it gets ruined as soon as I drive away. I can't keep any of my fancy hairdos. My car just ruins them. Mr. Monkey thinks this is rather odd. Why would a car want to ruin a hairdo? Mr. Monkey takes a look at Ms. Poodle, then takes a look at Ms. Poodle's car. He checks the tires. He checks the engine. He even checks the windshield. Mr. Monkey has an idea. Miss Poodle, I think I may have a solution. Well, Mr. Monkey, I have a hair appointment. The car must be fixed by the time I come back, or else my hair will be ruined again. I'll be back by four o'clock. Mr. Monkey takes a look at the clock on the wall of his shop. The big hand is at the twelve, and the little hand is at the two. That means it's two o'clock. So in two more hours, it will be four o'clock. That gives Mr. Monkey two hours before Miss Poodle comes back. He better get to work. Let's head over to Mr. Monkey's workbench. Miss Poodle's car is a convertible. That means it has no roof. When cars have a roof, it covers what's inside it and protects it from things like rain and wind. But Ms. Poodle's car doesn't have a roof, so when it's windy, her hair gets messy from the wind. What Ms. Poodle needs is a roof on her car, and Mr. Monkey knows exactly what kind of roof to make her. He thinks this nice round dome will work. Then he's going to need some bolts to attach the roof to the car. Four bolts should do the trick. One, two, three, and four. Now Mr. Monkey just needs one more thing: his trusty monkey wrench. Mr. Monkey is almost finished. All he needs to do now is add the bolts. One bolt and two bolts. Oh, Ms. Poodle's gonna be back soon. Let's finish the job. That makes three, and finally four. And not a minute too soon. Here comes Ms. Poodle. Oh my goodness, Mr. Monkey! What have you done to my convertible? Mr. Monkey wants to give it the ultimate test. Let's see how the dome works with some wind. It works. The roof is the perfect hairdo dome. Goodbye, Miss Poodle. Another satisfied customer. And with that, Mr. Monkey needs to get back to his puzzle. Mr. Monkey, Monkey Mechanic, was busy decorating his garage for a big party. When suddenly, the garage bell rang. A visitor! Mr. Monkey loves visitors, almost as much as he loves parties. Who could it be? Hot Diggity Dog! It's Mr. Monkey's friend, Little Doggy, in his wheelchair. 
Hello, little doggy, says Mr. Monkey. Are you here for the party? I sure am. I was so excited that I came early to help decorate. Mr. Monkey is happy to have some help. He gets his box of decorations and gives some to little doggy. Mr. Monkey's garage looks amazing. But just then, little doggy sighed. <sighs> what is it, little doggy? asks Mr. Monkey. Well, Mr. Monkey, it's just that the garage looks so fun and festive, and my wheelchair looks so ordinary. Mr. Monkey is surprised to hear this. He thinks little doggy's wheelchair is amazing. It allows him to get everywhere he needs to go. Mr. Monkey checks the wheels. Then he checks the brakes. He even checks out the seat. Well, everything seems to be in tip-top shape. Oh, my wheelchair is working fine, Mr. Monkey. It just doesn't have any... Pizzazz. Mr. Monkey wonders if there's something he can do to help make Little Doggy's wheelchair more exciting for the party. Off to his workbench. Little Doggy loves his wheelchair, but he wishes it was more festive for the party. Maybe Mr. Monkey can decorate Little Doggy's wheelchair. What kind of decorations does Little Doggy like? Well, Mr. Monkey knows that Little Doggy loves ribbons and streamers, but he especially loves balloons. Now Mr. Monkey just needs one more thing. His trusty monkey wrench! Mr. Monkey is ready to get started but he wants this to be a surprise. Cover your eyes, little doggy. No peeking, little doggy, says Mr. Monkey. It's time for the balloons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. All right, little doggy, open your eyes. Wow! Little doggy loves his fancy new wheelchair. Whoops! Mr. Monkey may have used too many balloons. There, now little doggy is the life of the party. Another job well done. And just in time too, because it's party time! Mr. Monkey, Monkey Mechanic, was getting ready for some fun in the sun. When all of a sudden, the garage bell rang. Mr. Monkey has a visitor. He loves having visitors. Who could it be? It's Monsieur Bulldog. Hi there, Monsieur Bulldog. Bonjour, Monsieur Monkey. How do you do? Very well, thank you. How are you today? Moi? I am terrible! I was planning to pedal my bicyclette to the park today so I could run with the butterflies and eat my baguette in the beautiful sunshine, but I have a very, very big problem. 
What is it, Monsieur Bulldog? I will demonstrate. Ah, now regard. No problem. Do you see? Mr. Monkey can see. Monsieur Bulldog's legs are too short to reach the pedals. I cannot ride my bicyclette in the park like this. What about the butterflies? What about my baguette? Zote, she is ruined. <laughs> what is a French bulldog like me to do, Monsieur Monkey? Can you help me? <laughs> well, let's take a look. Mr. Monkey checks the bicycle. First, he checks the little tire. Then he checks the big tire. Then he checks the basket. He even checks the pedal. Everything seems to be in working order. Mr. Monkey has an idea. Monsieur Bulldog, I think I have a solution to your problem. Oh, merci, merci. I would love nothing more than to ride to the park today and see all of the beautiful butterflies. Mr. Monkey swings off to his workbench. Let's see. Monsieur Bulldog wants to ride his new bicycle, but his little legs are too short to reach the pedals. Mr. Monkey needs to find a way to help Monsieur Bulldog pedal his bike. Mr. Monkey has an idea, but first he'll need some supplies. He'll need four blocks of wood, two short pieces and two tall pieces, two loops of rubber, plus eight bolts and eight nuts. And of course, his trusty monkey wrench. Ah. I know just how to fix your problem, Monsieur Bulldog. With these, how you say, blocks of wood? Mr. Monkey gets to work. Mr. Monkey starts with the first pedal. He'll need one of his short pieces of wood and one of his tall pieces of wood, plus four of his bolts and four of the nuts. One, two, three, and four. And he'll take one of his loops of rubber. That leaves Mr. Monkey with half of his materials remaining to do the same thing on the other pedal. Mr. Monkey is all done. Incroyable! Hop on, Monsieur Bulldog. Take it for a spin. All right. Allons-y. Let's go. <laughs> you have done it, Monsieur Monkey. Now I can cycle to the beautiful park on my bicyclette. Merci beaucoup. Thank you very much, Monsieur Monkey. Au revoir! Au revoir! Goodbye! I am coming, my beautiful butterflies! <laughs> Another satisfied customer. And with that, Mr. Monkey goes and gets his own BC clip. And now, Mr. Monkey, it's time to put the pedal to the metal. Let's go!